Let's get started with a DSP. A DSP essentially connects media buyers or advertisers to various ad exchanges and ad networks in order to give them wider access to publisher inventory. So when publishers make their impressions available on various ad exchanges for advertisers like agencies or direct brands to buy, a DSP on behalf of the advertiser will automatically decide which impressions are most relevant to the advertiser and then place bids on them. So now an advertiser can 1. Connect with the right publishers. two buy the right inventory. 3. Track performance and all through this centralized platform called a DSP. Now let's look at what's good about DSPs. DSPs perform automated buying and mostly in real time, which means no negotiations and faster transactions. Secondly, it provides advertisers with a centralized system to manage their media buying. This gives them better insights and allows them to plan and strategize before making further decisions. All of this saves advertisers a great deal of time and energy, which translates into saving a lot of money. Now let's look at SSPs or supply-side platform. Supply-side platforms are just essentially DSPs but for publishers. This platform allows online publishers to sell display, video, and mobile ads by interacting with DMPs, ad exchanges, and ad networks. The important thing to note is that this platform is for the publisher or the supply side, and they are the ones calling the shots to maximize profits on their inventory. Now here's what's great about SSPs. They provide publishers with a wide range of potential buyers. Secondly, publishers control this platform so they can set minimum prices on their inventory or they can choose to sell to specific buyers or through specific channels to maintain quality or for other reasons. All of this allows them to maximize revenue. Now that's pretty much the basics of DSPs and SSPs. However, here's some more interesting information. In 2011, Scott Prinker, who was the number one MarTech influencer, released the famous MarTech landscape which documented this entire process and listed out all the DSP and SSP vendors and other important vendors in the space. There were a total of 100 vendors. Just a few days ago, he released the landscape for 2017, which includes 5,000 vendors and gives us a great understanding of how this rapidly evolving ecosystem functions.